Welcome to Bug Trainer. Today I'm going to show you how to make two types of ant traps. First type. Type is called, I don't know what I should call it, but I just call it a sticky trap. This is a piece of paper. I'm going to shut the light so you can see it. Better. And then there are walls, plus this, and no lid. This trap is made out of paper, so don't let it get wet. And, and some people use it as a boat, actually. And the other is called a sticky bubble trap, which is what you use a bottle in. I prefer the paper trap better or the sticky trap because it doesn't use as much resources. First, I'm going to show you how to make a sticky trap. For this, this you need a paper like this. And I have no idea that why that has some junk on it. Um, so I um, let me get it. Um, here's here. Here's what. Now, um, first. You need to cut off a strip, like about a third. Now I need some scissors. Okay, here's the scissors. get something I will pause the video okay here I come I got a this kind of ruler for, um, to measure this and it is seven centimeters wide and and about 17 cent I mean 27 centimeters in length 7 centimeters wide 27 centimeters in length now what you do now is fold it in half see this open it and then make the walls so they fold to the half half line fold it like that And then you do it again to make something like this. Now you open it. And then now it's the time we make the wall. So you open it. Open it. Fold it like that. That. Put on the walls. And then, and then fold that back, and then you staple those. If you don't have a stapler, you may use tape or glue. But I, I like using staples since we have lots of staples at my house. Done. Now that done, now repeat this step. Open. Open. Fold like that. That. Open that up. Go like that. And then done. Staple those two. two. And then go buy some nibs. Nibs. I'll go get my nibs later.
I'm kind of just stapling this. Well, once you are done, you just go buy some nibs. Or get some older nibs. Mount it. And then spread it across it so it forms a sticky goo. The sticky goo will trap the ants when they come to feast. This trap does not always work, work, but I still recommend it. Plus, it's easy to make. Yeah, yeah. We'll spread it later, but we won't show you it. The next trap involves water and soap. So I'll go get some water. Oh, make some. Water. So the next trap basically is a bubble trap, um, where we put soapy water and and there would be bubbles so the ants go in they get trapped in the bubbles and they will just basically suffocate suffocate and then and then they'll just die basically and then and then you can always see it by the water underneath so Mason delivered me water in this bottle, so a toothpick, and some soap on this bread piece, fake. Now you you scoop up some soap. Let me show you it. Scoop up some soap. Oh, and then place it in. Cotton swab. Oh, thank you. And then stir. Stir until there's a thick layer of bubbles. Now adding a little more so. Mason, can you give me a little more soap? Eat, this is so gooey. And just keep on mixing. Sing, add the lid. Um, and then put it out where ants are often. Often. Just so you know. Now, if you put the lid on and store it store it the bubbles will disappear that can be solved easily by shaking that's why i like this trap there is also a video called an ant trap you can visit and there is also something called a chocolate bake trap which is basically a bottle filled with chocolate then uh, then wait for the ants to come feast grab the lid Place the lid on it, then answer trap. That's how we caught our pet pharaoh ants. ants. But they're not a colony. So we didn't keep them for too long. And so that's the two types of ant traps. You can copy them from me. You can make them. You can make your own too. Now make them up. But you may be wondering how this, this gets ants. <laughs> Ants near ah. how ants near the soap would be the bait. Plus my grandpa's doing some dumb stuff and we'll go.